Hey, yo, what's up, guys? This is on your back in the video, and today, uh, I have a little, a little bit different for you guys. Um, I don't usually do this kind of content. I usually do Fortnite tutorials, stuff like that, but, um, I'm gonna do, uh, a Friday Night Funkin' mod tutorial, okay? That I've never done before. This is, like, my first time ever trying to do a tutorial on a Friday Night Funkin'. The last time I uploaded a Friday Night Funkin' was about a year ago. But, um, today I'm literally teaching you guys how to make your own mod. In this really, really good underrated engine that sadly got canceled a little bit ago. Hopefully it gets, um, uh, revived or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a mod in it. Now, uh, this guy on the screen right now, um... He, uh, he is the first person to, like, put tutorials up uh, for this engine. He has, like, 14 tutorials. Um, the only thing about the tutorials is they're really outdated. Most of them are very outdated. That's what this is for. There is a whole new update, the 2.0 update, or let me be more specific. Let me do the exact numbers. 2.0.3. And um, it's a huge update. It fixes so much stuff. And uh, I want to show you guys how to use it. Uh, there's a lot of things that got revamped, and yeah, let, let me just stop talking, let's go. So, first of all, what you guys want to do is, of course, get the engine. Get the engine. It is called Yoshi Crafter Engine. See, so, as you can see, 2.7 thousand downloads. Um, get the engine. This is all of the mod stuff, uh, all the stuff it has. It's a lot of things. You even have your own, like, custom notes and boyfriend skins and girlfriend skins, all of that. Um... So you're gonna want to download this first. Do the um, GitHub one, the one from GitHub. Download that. Then once you have that, go into your uh, folder or files, whatever. And then you're probably gonna see something that looks like something like this. You're gonna get um, what's it called? Is it Seven Zip? Yeah, Seven Zip. And I think you're going to extract the file. Yeah, you're going to. Hold on, let me use this for example. So what you're gonna do is, if you have Seven Zip, you gotta download this. You're going to go into this arrow. You're going to go down here, and you're going to extract the files. Um, you're going to press that. Okay, well, whatever. Press OK. And then there it is right there. And it should, you know, work and stuff exactly like this. But that's not what we're using today. I just, that was just an example. So, we're going to go into it now. Let me put this on my desktop. Hold on. Give it a second. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so then what you're going to do is go into Yoshi Crafter. I'm going to mute, I'm going to mute the music because um, it's really annoying when you're making mods. It is so annoying. It, that might just be me, but I hate it. I literally hate it on doing this. So this is what you're going to see first. Uh, of course, you're going to do your normal thing that you usually do for every other from the font you go into. Uh, okay, so it's probably going to say this. But, uh, because this is a new, I have to, um, update this. So, the way to update it is to just press enter. There you go, and then update it, and I'll come back when it's updated. Okay, so, what you're going to do first is, you're going to go into your options, okay? Press that options bar. Uh, you can, uh, customize whatever you want in here. You have all these settings. Um, you're going to go into developer settings, if you're making a mod, of course. Uh, you're going to turn the developer mode on, it's already on, and then you come out. Okay, maybe it's not in here. Um, it's not in there. Here we go. You're going to go into the Yoshi Crafter Engine Helper, okay? All you got to do is press tab, and then you select it, and then there you go. Now you're going to go into this. It's called a toolbox. I'm going to go into that. Here you will see Yoshi Crafter Engine Helper, and then it says provides, blah, blah, blah. Down here is what you need. It says create a new mod. You're going to press that button. Now you have all of these. You have your mod name, your description, and your title bar name. So I'm going to, uh, th for this video, we're gonna, or for this series, we're going to port a mod into this, okay? You, you, gotta, you guys gotta, might have to follow me if you don't know what to do. So um, it's gonna be the Twins Moonia mod. So we're going to name it Versus, okay, and it's not letting me type. Okay, so, uh, I mean, so it's gonna be called Versus Twins Monia. I spelled that right. I don't know if I did. Uh, and then you have your description. I'm just going to say uh, a port mod. And then your title bar name, uh, I'm just going to put Twinsmonia. And then for your game icon, it's pretty much just a, uh, you can use like a credits icon. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. 
Go into your folder. Da -da -da. I'm gonna go find it real quick. Okay, so I just went into a random mods folder. Uh, found this in the assets images, just on credits. We're gonna go in here. Um, I'm gonna choose some random. Let's choose Phantom Arcade, okay? There you go, that's what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna choose your mod icon. So, you're probably gonna wanna make an, uh, a whole like FNF thing, but I'm just gonna like use my own. So, I'll be back. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is, all you gotta do is just go into your mod, and then in the assets images, they might have something like this, the logo. So you're gonna find like a good logo and just use that. And then it's gonna look something like that. And then now you're gonna create your mod. There you go, create your mod. Uh, where's the Twins Mania? A port mod. Um, so then, this is how you make your own mod. You're gonna go into the edit tab and there, or button, and there are so many things you could do inside of this. You have your characters, your mod info, your medals, your song configuration, your songs, your stages, your stages, yeah, stages, uh, and your weeks. So for this video, we're gonna be doing characters, okay? Now this is gonna, this might be a little complicated, but as long as you follow along and stuff, you should be good. So down here, you have all these buttons. We're gonna do use the create button. Name your character, uh, whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine. Let's do um. We're gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Come out of here. Uh, I'm gonna use a random, random file, maybe like a site engine thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put this over here real quick, and then I'm going to look for my character. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna name mine. Uh, I'm I'm gonna name mine, uh, girl. Okay. And we're gonna find the character icon. So I take a little bit. Uh. Need some images. Oh no! Wait, it's gonna be in the mods folder. Um, images, icons. Here we go. Um, we're gonna use, I guess, icon girl. Maybe we'll use that. And then you're gonna find you're gonna find their sprite sheet. Uh, maybe it's in the shared images. No, it's not. Okay. That's the one the mods folder probably. Characters. No, that is not it at all. Um. There we go. Okay. And I think it's called goalie for this one. Not big goalie, but just goalie. Um, maybe this PNG. Put that up. Now you're going to create. And there you go. You have a good girl. Now you're going to press edit around here. And there you go. Right there, there's your character. So, for for this, okay, what you're gonna want to do is, right under the PNG is probably gonna be something called an XML. Let me show you what that looks like. Something looks like it looks like this. You're going to use this a lot when you're making characters. You're probably gonna, well, you're mostly, you're really gonna be using this when you're making characters actually, because it's the only way to make character animations work. So I'm gonna put this to the side. What you want to do is. If they, they have uh, different options, your opponent, player, or girlfriend. Player is pretty much boyfriend. Um, you can set a shadow reference of her. Um, you can show data and BF, so you can have like a reference thing. Um, you can customize your uh, no skin, no color, whatever. You can flip the character, anti analyzing I don't know what that means, or what that is for. You can scale it, I think it's up to 10. You can skin it as BF, or you can skin it as GF, and then you can do a health color however you want. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just use most recent or present. So here we go. Let me stop rambling and let me actually uh, make him. So here you go. Your animation name. So first of all, you're gonna need to have to do it in in this exact name, no spelling errors. But I'm pretty sure you don't have to do it in an order. So I'm gonna do it in an order in an order though. So we're gonna do idle. And we're gonna come over here to the XML. And we're gonna, you see this? Little girl idol. We're going to copy that. Put this over here. And we're going to paste it. There you go. That's our idol. Definitely mess off. Um, and then for the character settings, these will uh, put her at uh, like a position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Go down. Boom, she's right there now. 
and that's the other you can load the animation if you want to also there's also an animation offset and then there's a frame rate too for the animation it's a nice animation um now i'm gonna add it again and this next one i'm gonna call it sing down you have to name that exactly how it is um, but you don't have to put it in this exact order i'm gonna copy it from here all you really have to do is like actually like just just save the idle thing and then all you gotta do is like paste it in here and then just change it to down, left, right, or up, or whatever. Use that. There you go. So sometimes it will be doing this, okay? So it's not going to go right with the idol. So what you're going to have to do is um, make it look like she's not moving really like too much. So what I do... Oh! I just noticed something. There's a reference image. Look at that. I did not even notice that. I just learned something in this video. Look. If you have... If you, I hate that. If you have her reference image, you can literally just put her right on there. It'll make it so much more easier. Oh, okay. That's going to be a lot more easier for me when I'm doing these things. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, you can let's do an now sing right. Paste that and just change it. Oops. Exactly like this. I did not mean to do that. It'll go right and then there you go. Wow. Animations are going to be so much more easier now for me. I didn't even know that was a thing. Now you're going to do sing up. Paste that. Now it's up. There you go. And then we're gonna do sing. Um, what is it? Sing. Uh, sing left. I think it is. Yeah, sing left. And then change this. So now we're gonna press the save button. And then if you come out of here. Look a girl. You can press preview, and then there you go. This is their idol. And you could just play with space. You can make it like super fast or something. This is a down, left, right, up, and then you can do it really fast if you just want to, you know, preview it to make sure it looks really good. Now we're gonna be making a second one, okay? So, um, we're gonna call this next one boy, okay? We're gonna find the character icon. Mods, images, yep, icons, there it is, boy. Um, and then the sprite sheet, um, same thing, same thing here. Oh, whoops, mods, images, characters. I'm gonna find it uh, on this, on a whole different file thing. So let me go find it real quick. Okay, and I found it. It is called Boy P. That's exactly what the spreadsheet looks like. So, Boy P. That's just two of them. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's fine though. Create that. And there you go. Now you have Boy. Edit it. And you're going to do the exact same thing. And I actually just did last time. I'm going to set a shadow reference like I did last time. You're gonna go to the XML of whatever you just put in. Looks like this. And um I might cut this off because this is gonna be just I'm gonna actually no. I'm gonna um do this super quick, so I'm gonna do a little faster this time. My I, I was gonna I said I was gonna cut it off. Oh wait, what am I doing this thing down? I said I was gonna cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna do it super a little quickly this time. Just so you guys can get it. Copy. There you go. Feel free to skip if you want. Probably will want to. Um, I'm just doing a little bit faster because I know I need to make sure. Because these are characters we're gonna need for this mod, so. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, that is your second character. Um, 
sure everything's good. Save that. Let's preview it to make sure it looks good. Nice. Very nice, very nice. But that's how you make characters in Yoshi Crafter Engine. Um, I think I, I think I can end this tutorial off here. I will be making so much more videos on this. Uh, I have so many things planned for these videos. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.